Okay, tubers, what we're working on is a uh, late model Dana 35. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the pinion gear, so it's probably time to replace that. What I ran into is from the factory, your carrier is set up for 7 16 bolts. When you order a new ring and pinion gear from Motive Gear, they've drilled them for 3 eighths. All of your late model Dana 35s are 7 16 When you get your installation kit from G2, they include new ring bolts, which are 3 eighths. Seven sixteenths is not going to fit in a three eighths hole. Now without a lot of hitting with a big hammer. G 2s solution to the problem was just stick it in there and tighten it down. It should stay. Sorry, I, I have a problem with having a seven sixteenths hole with a three eighths bolt in it and its ability to wobble around in there like that. Compared to a factory bolt that goes in there with no movement. Yukon sells a kit to shim your 3 8 bolts to a 7 16 This kit runs you about $50. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this with just local stuff from a hardware store. What I did is I went out and bought 3 8 by half inch steel spacers. Just a simple steel spacer, half inch diameter on the outside, three eighths inside diameter. So your three eighths bolt fits directly into it. A seven sixteenths bolt will not, which is your next problem. Your carrier being drilled for seven sixteenths, a half inch is not going to fit. So, what do you do? You could try grinding on this and you might get it round enough, but then if you're off a little bit on one side or off a little bit on the other, your bolt's no longer going to be center lined and you're going to have a nightmare. So, what do you do? Well, what I did is I took my handy dandy drill and a half inch bit and I drilled the 7 16 hole out to a half inch. So, now your half inch fits down inside. Now the important thing about this, and keep this in mind when you're doing this, don't drill all the way through. Just go halfway, three quarters of the way. That way later on, if for some reason you want to put 7 16 back in it, all you have to do is pull these out and put your new bolts back in. Okay, as you can see that sticks way out there. So what do you do? Well, what I did was I took a handy dandy Dremel, just like that, which you can pick up at any hardware store, any chain store, fiber reinforced cutting wheel, figured out how deep I wanted to go, pulled that out, marked it, stuck it in a vise, and cut it off. Now, you can use a hacksaw, probably get a straighter cut. There's lots of fancy tools out there you can get a straighter cut. These things don't have to be perfect. They just have to be able to go down below the face plate of the steel here because all it's doing is taking up the slack. So you cut it down. If you end up with one a little bit high, just stick it on your bench grinder and flatten it out until it drops down in the hole. And as you can see, yeah. they fit really tight. And you can see, it goes right in there. Now. 7 16 inch bolt won't fit that hole. The 3 8 for the new ring and pinion drops right in. And look, no slack. 
Just so you can see it, I'll shove it through the other side. And that's how you work around what they wanted. They wanted me to replace my entire carrier or pay 50 bucks for some shims that I made for about four or five dollars. I gotta be honest, I'm really not impressed with the new ring and pinion gears. Yukon supposedly makes one that's drilled for 3 8 and 7 16 and you just rotate the ring on your carrier to line it up. That ring gear was $150 or so for a daily driver. You would think they'd either go ahead and double tap it with 7 16 and 3 8 or they would include the shims on their own. That's it.